Did the confinement and stress of the pandemic affect women's sexuality? What role do hormones play in libido? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, the confinement and stress of the pandemic may have affected women's sexuality in various ways. Stress, anxiety, and changes in daily routines can influence sexual desire and satisfaction. However, responses can vary from person to person. Hormones, such as testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone, can influence sexual desire or libido. Low testosterone levels, for example, can reduce sexual desire, while a proper balance of hormones can promote a healthy libido. Erectile dysfunction and acupuncture. Some studies suggest that acupuncture may be beneficial for improving erectile function by increasing blood flow to the penis and reducing anxiety. Erectile dysfunction and medication side effects. Some medications, such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, high blood pressure medications, and tranquilizers, can cause erectile dysfunction as a side effect. If you experience erection problems while taking medications, consult your doctor. Erectile dysfunction in women. While primarily associated with men, erectile dysfunction can also affect some women. This refers to difficulty in maintaining clitoral erection. Sexual therapy can be helpful in such cases. Erotic dreams are common and can trigger sexual arousal during sleep. Sometimes, erotic dreams reflect sexual desires or fantasies. Eroticism in literature. Erotic literature has been an integral part of writing throughout history. Famous authors like Anais Nin, Henry Miller, and E.L. James have contributed to this literary genre. Ethics and responsibility. Open relationships require a high level of responsibility and ethics. Couples must be respectful of each other's feelings and boundaries and address any conflicts or issues openly and honestly. Evolution of sexual tolerance. Society has undergone an evolution in sexual tolerance. What was once considered taboo is now more accepted, promoting greater openness regarding sexual diversity. Experimentation with temperatures. Some women find experimenting with different temperatures during foreplay exciting, such as using ice or warm cloths to alternate between sensations of cold and heat on the skin. Exploration of taboo fantasies. Foreplay provides a safe space to explore sexual fantasies considered taboo or socially unacceptable, allowing women to express their most intimate desires without fear of judgment. External stimuli. Environmental factors such as lighting, music, and ambience can influence a woman's receptiveness to certain sexual positions and contribute to her overall arousal and enjoyment. Eye contact. Eye contact during foreplay can increase intimacy and emotional connection between partners, creating a sense of complicity and shared excitement. Facial symmetry. Facial symmetry is often considered attractive due to its association with health and strong genetics. People tend to perceive symmetrical faces as more attractive. Favorite time of day for sex. Preferences for the time of day for sex vary among individuals. Some prefer intimacy in the morning, while others find it more exciting at night. Female ejaculation, or squirting, has become a popular topic in mainstream culture, including in pornography. However, its representation in the media can be controversial and may not always reflect reality. Feminist pornography. A feminist pornography movement has emerged, seeking to create content that represents female sexuality in a more realistic and empowered way, challenging established gender norms in the industry. Fetishes and relationships. In a romantic relationship, sharing fetishes can strengthen emotional and sexual connection. However, it's important to communicate openly and respectfully about fantasies and boundaries. Food fetishes. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their intimate encounters, such as using chocolate, strawberries, or whipped cream during foreplay. Foreplay. During pregnancy, 
Foreplay can be especially beneficial during pregnancy, as it can help relieve stress, improve blood circulation, and strengthen the emotional bond between partners, even when sexual relations may change due to physical discomfort. In European countries like France and Spain, sexual education campaigns in media and social networks are conducted to raise awareness among young people about consent, respect, and prevention of sexual violence. Gender diversity. Sexuality is closely related to gender identity, which is not limited simply to male and female, but also includes non-binary and transgender identities. Genetic factors. Some studies suggest that premature ejaculation may have a genetic component, meaning that certain individuals may have a hereditary predisposition to experience this issue. Glasses fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards the use of glasses, whether on themselves or their partner, finding glasses aesthetically appealing or associating glasses with intelligence and sexual attractiveness. Group sex fantasies. Group sex fantasies involve sexual encounters with multiple people at the same time, whether in threesomes, orgies, or gangbangs. These fantasies can be explored through imagination or consensually in real life. Growing industry. The sex toy industry is one of the fastest growing in the wellness and personal care market. Its global value is estimated to surpass billions of dollars in the coming years. Health and well-being. Orgasms have health benefits, such as stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, releasing endorphins, happiness hormones, and relieving pain. They can also improve sleep quality. Health benefits. In addition to providing sexual pleasure, sex toys can also have health benefits. For example, some vibrators can help relieve menstrual pain and muscle tension. Health effects. Female orgasms can have positive health effects, such as reducing stress, improving sleep, and relieving menstrual pain. They can also strengthen pelvic floor muscles. Height. In many cultures, height is associated with masculinity and protection, leading some women to find taller men attractive. History of condoms. Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Rome, where they were made from animal intestines. Today, modern condoms are made of latex or polyurethane and are an effective means of protecting against STIs and unwanted pregnancies. HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, is one of the most well-known sexually transmitted diseases. It attacks the immune system and, if left untreated, can progress to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, a chronic and potentially life-threatening condition. Hormone release. During masturbation, a woman's body releases a series of hormones, including endorphins, dopamine, and oxytocin, which can improve mood and provide a sense of well-being. Hypoactive sexual desire is a condition in which a person has chronically low sexual desire. It may be due to physical, emotional factors, or a combination of both, and is often addressed with sexual therapy. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.